You know as well as I do, the sewing community is all about Instagram. Oh, sorry, I was just checking out Instagram. And that's the topic of today's not live edition of The Sewing Report. I'm Jennifer Moore, helping you discover your love of sewing. And in this episode, we're gonna be talking all about some of my favorite Instagram accounts. And I've been on Instagram for a couple of years, and when I first heard about it, I wasn't that interested. I didn't know what kind of benefit I would get out of it, and I thought it was just for people showing off pretty pictures. So I didn't join until maybe two, three years ago. I was a little bit late to the party. Oh, and sorry, for those of you just joining us, I wanted to let you know again, I'm sorry this is not live, I cannot be with you this week, but I had a family commitment, so I'm not here, I'm not able to be with you this week, but I didn't want to leave you hanging again, so whenever I'm not here, I'm going to post a video in a format that's sort of like the live show where we're talking about a certain topic, and I want to have a discussion. That's the best part of these types of shows is talking to you guys, hearing your opinion, and having people share their thoughts and ideas. So let's do that in the comments and make sure to smash that like button. Oh, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'm at Sewing Report. And I wanted to share some of my favorite accounts, the ones that I can't wait to see their posts, and I love their Instagram stories, and, you know, just the people that I tend to follow and really look forward to seeing content from. So one of the first people I think I started following that I liked was at Suzy Quilts and we've met in person at QuiltCon. She's amazing. Her photography game is on point and all of her photos are kind of like fun, whimsical, light, bright, and airy and her stories are hysterical. I also follow her on Snapchat and by the way I like Instagram stories but I'm a little bit peeved that Instagram just blatantly copied Snapchat like that. I didn't think that was very cool and honestly Instagram, I would have much preferred if you would come up with some sort of other feature that was original, something that was, you know, cool out of the box and something that didn't already exist, like the Snapchat stories. Because I like Snapchat's user interface a lot more, but obviously a lot more people in the sewing community are on Instagram, so I kind of feel like I, I have to be here. So... I, I love Instagram, don't get me wrong, but for some things, I think the Snapchat, just the user interface is easier and more comfortable for me to use. So I am on Snapchat a lot, I'm sewing report there as well, and if you are on Snapchat, come say hi to me there. But let's get to it. Let me share some of my other favorite Instagram accounts. So there's Suzy Quilts. I've also gotten to know a few ladies in the sewing community, and we've sort of developed a friendship and uh, they're very cool and we're all into garment sewing and those ladies are Vintage on Tap, Akram's Ideas, Hello Ally J, Emily Hallman Designs, and me Denise Wild. And don't worry guys, I will link all of their profiles below so you can find these ladies. All Oh and Crafty Pinup, let's not forget Abby the Crafty Pinup, but all these ladies are awesome. They're very talented seamstresses and I love following them and talking to them on Instagram and on Facebook. Very fun people and I'm really glad I've gotten to know some people. I know this is weird, like back in the 90s you thought meeting someone online was really strange. But look at now, look at how many people are meeting and getting married off of meeting on like Twitter or meeting on Match.com or whatever. I even know someone that met his wife on MySpace. So I feel like this whole meeting people on the internet thing is becoming a little less taboo. Maybe, I don't know, what do you think? But those are some more ladies that I like to follow. And oh, and another account that I really like is Keaton Quilts. His name is Justin and Keaton Quilts comes from his dog's name, which is Diane Keaton, which is like the best dog's name I think I've ever heard. But you need to follow Keaton Quilts. Amazing quilts, he uses a lot of Liberty of London fabric and very talented guy, you know, really, he's adorable. So you need to follow him as well. Let me see who else I follow on Instagram. Oh, there is this um, new sewist that I started following, and I'm gonna link her as well. It's like, let me find her. Okay, her name is, I think it's Tani, and her username is like the best username ever. It's she believed she could, so she did. 
and it's like a really long and so like she believed she could sew as sew so she did and what i really like about tani's account i hope i i hope i'm pronouncing that right tani what i appreciate about her account is just how excited she is about sewing i get the feeling she started sewing a few months ago she got a sewing machine and her excitement is just like contagious she posts a lot of her makes she uses really fun fabrics and even though she's more of a beginner seamstress I just love her energy and love how excited she is about it. So she's one, someone that I follow that I also really enjoy. Um, another person I follow, and again, I'm linking all of these people below, is It's I-T-Z, It's B-Yo, and that's Brenda. She's a longtime Sewing Report viewer, and she lives in Hawaii, so she's got a lot of really cool, really cool and very enviable pictures of, like, the beach. So... It's B.O. is someone I, and she's so nice and so friendly, and I've gotten to know her a little bit from Instagram and through the Sewing Report, my Sewing Report channel, and she's become a friend. So, Brenda, hello, and I don't know, I just feel like there's a lot of people you can get to know on, on Instagram, which is like the weirdest thing ever. Oh, and someone else I recently discovered, I mentioned her in a live show a couple weeks back, is at Weather Lisa. She is a Houston meteorologist, and she makes a lot of her own clothing that she wears on the air. So I started following Lisa recently because I saw an article on, like, Yahoo Style about her, and she was wearing a cloud dress. But I'm also in the television news business as well, so I really appreciate someone else in the business who sews and makes their own clothing. So definitely check out Lisa. She posts a lot of her awesome creations. And she also has a, a pretty good sense of humor, which I appreciate. And she has a cat, so you can't go wrong with that. And I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like anyone, particularly quilters, I feel like most quilters have cats. Is that something I'm just noticing, or is it something you've noticed too? So just, yeah, I know, I know you really appreciate my random thoughts about whatever, but thank you for humoring me. And again, let me know. I want to know what, um, what do you like or not like about Instagram? Is that your favorite social media platform for sharing your pictures of sewing makes? And also, what are your favorite Instagram accounts? Let's start talking in the comments. And again, I apologize. I couldn't be here live with you this week, but I had a uh, family obligation. So I will be back hopefully soon and uh, look forward to another video and more live shows from me here at Sewing Report. I will see you next time. I want to get back to my Instagram now.